$100 tip. In my wallet, I always carry a $100 bill. And if my talking about this leads to me being mugged, so be it. Come and get your Benjamin, you cranky little thief. <laughs> I have it there as a just in case for when a credit card has some issue, the power is out at a store and I have to pay in cash or I might need to pay for parking at a pay station and they ask me for a smaller bill and we stare at each other since I don't have anything else and they let me park for free. But it's mostly there for one reason. On occasion, I feel inclined to leave it hidden under the final bill receipt at a diner, bar or restaurant, usually late at night after a successful event as I am starving from a long day. When I notice extra thoughtful service rendered, I feel it's a cool thing to leave for a hard worker. I don't film this or post selfies about it. I have yet to do a party where everyone gathers around to watch me give this money to be celebrated online for my charity. Most of the time, my family never even knows I've done this with or without them to witness it. Two times in the hundreds of times I've done this, the server will come running after me once we've exited the building to the shock of my children. My new best friend hugs and thanks me and yells, praise the Lord, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's awkward, but it's special. And it's the reason I carry a $100 bill. Giving away $100 is way better than making it. I don't know how or why this began, but I believe I can trace it back to doing an event years ago where I realized I had just made $100 per minute on stage. I never thought in high school I would someday even be able to make $100 per day in my future career. But after this gig, I was feeling extreme gratitude for the fact that I had stumbled into such a blessing as making a living, doing what I love, and being paid extreme amounts for the value. As I sat watching my server give their all, I remember she cleaned the table next to mine, a party of over 10, and looked at the receipt only to see the portion for a tip was left empty. And I could see her visibly crushed by this. She and I barely spoke. I know nothing of her story, but that moment made me realize how hard she was trying and literally keeping the promise for everyone around her. And the last table didn't even have the decency to acknowledge her efforts. And here I was on the heels of a standing ovation for doing something that felt like very little effort. After paying my bill, I reached in my backpack and I found a $100 bill and snuck it under the receipt of my uncleared table. I left quickly and I walked outside, looking in the window to see if she'd get it. It took a while for her to return to my table, but I could tell due to the way I was dressed, I was in my post-show clothes after getting changed, which essentially were pajamas. She wasn't expecting much on the tip of the receipt from me. She looked down and saw that I'd left 25% on the receipt. I saw a look of relief on her face. She was grateful. She cleaned the table and then moved the receipt. There sat the $100 bill. Suddenly, she carefully set the plates back on the table in shock. She bent over with her head down and silently cried, alone, breathed a sigh of relief. Wiping her tears, she resumed clearing the table. She then briskly walked to the kitchen where I saw her tell her coworkers and they were all stunned as well. Remember, this was years ago before social media posts and promotions of charity, as I don't think this sort of thing happened back then as much, but it had a profound effect on me to do this secret service. I stood in the parking lot watching all this unfold as I didn't know how it would be received. But in that moment, I made a promise to always carry $100 in my wallet for the opportunity to surprise and bless someone who is keeping the promise in their work. I turned and walked away into the night. I believe every person that reads my blog does something like this for others. Pretty much no one knows your thing. It's your secret promise of kindness. I mean, I hesitate to even share this as I've done it in secret for almost two decades, never written or spoken about it. Whatever yours is, if you want to share, please inspire us with your ideas of how you do it. And if you don't share with us, please promise to continue doing what you do, which is your private signature move of blessing lives and keeping the promise to those blessed by your heart.